fin whales, the second largest mammal on Earth after the blue whale, and striped dolphins are just two of the eight cetacean species that make their home in the Mediterranean Sea between the Italian and French coasts. The 87,000 square kilometer Pelago Sanctuary for Mediterranean marine mammals was established in 1999 to protect the whales, dolphins, and other sea creatures that live in this relatively small basin. The Tethys Research Institute has been collecting data from this area for over 30 years and invites citizen scientists to help out. Project director Sabina Eroldi says the researchers will use the information gathered by volunteers to better understand and protect the animals here. It's not just while watching. It's not just the people are here just to, um, to enjoy of the presence of the animal. They are doing something for them. The citizen scientists live aboard the ship Pelagos for one week, carrying out a range of research activities, including geographic location of sightings, dive durations, behavior, group size, and composition. Since its launch, more than 6,000 people from across the globe have taken part as research volunteers. Lisa Wolf, a special education teacher from New York, is here with her 16-year-old son. I decided to be a scientist for a week so that I could learn more about the animals in the Mediterranean, the different dolphins and whales that live here, um, and to be able to get a better understanding of how they behave, um, what their environment is like, and to learn from the researchers. That's also the goal of 19-year-old Lisa Picato. I decided to come here, of course, because I want to be a marine biologist, but also because this project offers me the incredible opportunity to actively help out with the research. In addition to its research on the water, Tethys also works on land with local authorities, schools, and NGOs, offering presentations to local communities to raise awareness about its work, marine mammals, and marine conservation. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.